welcome back to Dad Life Barbecue. This is episode three on this channel, and today we are gonna be the Incredible Hulk, and we are gonna Hulk smash some smash burgers. Hulk smash! So what is a smash burger? Some restaurants that have made smash burgers really popular are restaurants like Culver's or Steak and Shake. There's even a restaurant chain called Smash Burger, and essentially what you do is instead of forming the patty into a patty like you traditionally do on a grill, you actually just roll the ground uh, beef into a, a, a bowl and then smash it into a surface. So you need like a cast iron skillet or a skillet of some sort. If you're gonna do it on the grill, it's gotta be cast iron. Um, but you have to have a flat surface that you can smash the burger into. Uh, now you can do this on the stove, but I like to do it on the grill because it makes an absolute mess on the stove. And before I got this new stuff that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using the grill from Lodge and I'm going to be using a cast iron press from Lodge as well. Uh, before I got these, uh, when I did it on the Weber, I just used a cast iron um, skillet and then a, a firm spatula, like a wooden spatula. You don't want to use like a, a typical grill spatula because when you push it, it's going to bend and it's not going to give the reaction that you want to happen. And uh, the reason a smash burger tastes so good is because what happens is it's called the Maillard reaction. Essentially, it's a chemical reaction that takes place that browns the meat. And not only does it make the meat taste better, it actually makes it taste more meaty. So let's get started. The majority of the ingredients we're gonna be using today are from Aldi. We're gonna be using sourdough bread. We're gonna be using 80-20 ground beef, Swiss and mild cheddar cheese, a white onion, uh, bread and butter chips, and then we're gonna be using, uh, today I'm gonna be using Holy Cow Barbecue Rub from Meat Church. Uh, this rub isn't uh, the, the rub that you necessarily have to use for this burger. You can use really any burger rub out there. There's some great stuff on the market you can get for super cheap, but this is what I'm gonna be using. And then we're gonna be making our own sauce today, which is kind of the the secret sauce. This is the good stuff. This is what makes this burger really good. That's gonna be made from ketchup, creamy French, Thousand Island, and then Worcestershire sauce. Um, I probably butchered the pronunciation of that, but that's how I say it, and that's what we're gonna be using today. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the sauce, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a half cup of French. Uh, a little pro tip is if you spray your measuring utensils with a little bit of non-stick spray, it's gonna cause your stuff to not stick in the cup. So we're gonna use a half cup of French, Half cup of Thousand Island. Two tablespoons of ketchup. Then one fourth teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. So after you get all those together, then just whisk it together. Now let's get the patties ready. So what you're gonna do is just kind of grab you enough, just about like a, a, a palm full like that really, that's about it. And then just kind of form it into a ball bam just like that and you're gonna do one more it's gonna be a double patty burger just enough for a palm and then bam and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rub on you want to go ahead and thinly slice some onion now you want to melt some butter for your buns so i want to go ahead and stick about three tablespoons of butter into the microwave and melt that. Everything is ready to go. Let's go fire up the grill. All right, now I'm gonna put my cast iron griddle on. And then if you don't have one of these, if you have a cast iron um, a skillet, it'll work just as well. All right, so we have the griddle heating up and once that is heated up, we're gonna start cooking. Griddle's ready, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the burgers on and give them that first hog smash. So we're gonna take it, let it just sit there for just a couple seconds, and then immediately push it in. Hold it for about 10 seconds, and you can lift up. So you're gonna take your other one, let it sit, do the same thing. So on the burger that's gonna go on the bottom, you're gonna go ahead and take some onion and put that right there. 
then don't put anything on your bottom patty quite yet. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and butter up the bread, and then when we flip the patties, we're gonna put the bread uh, on the indirect heat. All right, burgers have been going, so now it's time to flip. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the indirect heat. Now that they're flipped, we're gonna go ahead and put the cheese on. So you're gonna put a piece of cheese there. And then on top of that one, you're gonna put a four pickle, is what I like to do. And then take you a piece of Swiss cheese. Ahead, and I'm gonna put the lid on to help that bread get a little toasted and to melt that cheese. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the bread. The burgers are ready to come off, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take your sauce. Right, you're gonna take your bottom patty with the onions. Take your top patty. Top bun. Let's taste this thing. Here we go. That is a really good smash burger. You gotta try that out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you hit like and show me that you liked? And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would do that and then turn on notifications to let you know every time that I upload a new video, I'm gonna continue making barbecue content for the everyday dad. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time.